Hey guys, I'm going to be filming a Dollar Tree 99 cent only haul and I have a couple items from the Target dollar spot. I don't have that many items from the Target dollar spot, but before I get started I just wanted to say hi that I've missed you guys all very, very much. I know I've been gone for quite a while. Um, I just haven't been feeling too great in the past couple of months. My energy is really, really low. I just feel like I'm dragging and I have to get tests done at the doctor's. They gave me the slips to get them done at my last doctor's appointment, but um, that was for three months away, so I still haven't found out what's wrong with me. But anyways, I'm not going to go on about that, but I really have missed you guys and I was excited to show you guys the stuff that I got. I have this... Uh, Valentine's rug even though Valentine's Day was yesterday I got this at the Target dollar spot but this was three dollars I had it in my kitchen but I figured it would kind of brighten up the area for filming because you guys know that um, I film sometimes on the zebra rug and it kind of darkens the picture up a bit so also I wanted to show you guys this really cute um, coffee cup that I got it's got the little charms on it, and it says the queen of or queen of everything, and it's got the little purple jewels on it. And then this is one of the little things I've showed you guys before from 99 cent only store. I got this at Ross for I think 2.99. I just thought it was really cute, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna start grabbing bags. And also, just to let you know, because Valentine's Day was yesterday, some of the stuff that I'm going to show you guys, my son's stuff, I haven't given to him yet because he was um, with my grandma yesterday, and I'll be giving him his Valentine's Day stuff today. And then <clears throat> my boyfriend's stuff, only a couple of the things, he already got most of it, but some of the smaller things from Dollar Tree, I wouldn't let him open until after I filmed. So that's why you guys will be seeing some Valentine's Day stuff in this video. So the first bag that I'm going to grab is from Dollar Tree and all of this stuff is from, most of it was from yesterday and then some of it was from the day before that. So this is from Dollar Tree. I found these Physician Formula Retro Glow, sorry, Retro Glow Mosaic Powders and I purchased four of these because you guys know anything Physician's Formula is awesome for a dollar. I've never used this um, Retro Glow Mosaic Powder, but I definitely wouldn't mind trying it for a dollar. So it's got all the little different colors inside of it. It's got like the greens and the pinks, and then it's also got the glowy... Um, kind of bronzer and I know that the greens and pinks are good for um, covering up like different things on your skin or whatever so I got four of these there's one two I think they're all in this bag there's three and then yeah I don't know if the fourth one's in this bag but I did get four so I just got these yesterday and I thought those were an awesome deal then I picked up these were for my boyfriend, and I didn't let him open them yet. They're in the Palmer brand. They're the Luscious Lips. This is a 5-ounce bag, and it comes with all the little um, lip chocolates or whatever. I thought that was cute, considering it was lips. I also got him this. It is the Whitman's, and I think the Whitman's is a good uh, brand of chocolate. The chocolate tastes really yummy. I also got my son some of the puppy ones, but those will be coming up in a different bag. So I got my boyfriend the kitty cat one. My boyfriend's a big time animal person, and I kind of thought he liked cats better, so I got him the cat. Then I got a moose in the salon selectives, and I know this this the quality seems kind of bad right now, but. Um, I got the Salon Selectives Mousse. It's the Anti-Frizz Curl Sculpting Intense Volume. It's four ounces, and the reason I got this is because um, my son has a faux hawk right now, and he has, like, the designs on the back of his head, like, where they make, like, the swirls and stuff like that, and I've been using, I think, the LA Looks Gel that I got from Dollar Tree, and then I've been using one of the hairsprays that I got from Dollar Tree. I showed you guys it in a previous video and it's like a <clears throat> it looked like a really nice bottle. It was silver and it had like a burgundy reddish cap and it was like a sheen hairspray but for some reason it makes his hair by the end of the school day he has a lot of white flakage in his hair so I decided that I'm going to switch to the mousse because that's what he used to use and it didn't give me any problems. Then I also got to go with it 
because I've used this hairspray before. It's not a very firm hold, but it doesn't seem to flake as bad for him. It's the Salon Selectives, and this one's the Extra Hold, and this is just the regular aerosol hairspray in the four ounces. So this one's extra firm all day, and this one's extra hold all day. Then I also picked up, because I've seen this in other people's hauls as well, and I've never tried it, it is just the hairspray in the April brand. You guys know that's like a Dollar Tree brand. This is 5.5 ounces, so it's bigger than this one. The smell kind of smells like a cologne type smell to me so I don't know I'll give this a try and test it out and if none of these work even though I've used these if they still do that I'll just have to go to Target and buy something a little bit better for him so there's one bag then here's another Dollar Tree bag I got these yesterday and I was actually kind of excited about these because I thought it was so cute that they did, and I know it's in the Spa Haas brand or whatever, but I thought it was so cute that they did the knockoffs of the Organics shampoo and conditioner. So this one is the Hair Therapy Keratin Oil Shampoo, and it just says, a unique blend of fortifying keratin proteins to help resist strand breakage and further enrich with argon oil to condition and nourish your hair. These are both 14 ounces each. So I got the pink ones, and then I also saw... Um, I didn't see any other colors at my Dollar Tree. I got the green ones, and these are in the Tea Tree Mint. And these are also 14 ounces, and it's the same brand, Spa Haas, if that's how you pronounce it. And this one says, moisturizing, and it says, indulge yourself with this unique blend of Australian tea tree and peppermint oils that together will hydrate, strengthen, and provide balance to your hair. You'll never look better. And this one says something, the conditioners both say something different. I'm not going to read both of them because I don't want to make my videos super long because you guys know my videos always are really long. But like I said, these mimic the Organics brand and I've never been a big fan of like a lot of the shampoos at Dollar Tree in the off brand, um, in the off brands, but I couldn't resist getting these uh, dupes to the organics and if I don't end up liking one of them I'll just give the pair to someone else that's not as picky about their shampoo and conditioner so I got those just yesterday and I was at my Dollar Tree a couple days ago and they didn't have these so these must have just got in so then um, I picked these up for <clears throat> my I call her my mother-in-law you guys know this <clears throat> and I actually used to see this on the commercial all the time and I would even want it off the commercial <clears throat> just to try it so when I saw it at the Dollar Tree I definitely couldn't pass it up you guys know that they've been having a lot of the as seen on TV stuff they even had and I knew I should have picked one up even if it didn't work good it's only a dollar and just have tried it at my Dollar Tree I don't know if you guys saw they had the thing that you connect to your blow dryer and it curls and blow dries your hair all in one and I think I'm going to go back for it just to give it a go. So I found the Stone Wave there. I know you guys have seen this on the commercials where they put the onion in there and call it like bouillon soup or something like that. And that part I think looks kind of gross, but I always thought the one with the chocolate where they drizzle the chocolate over the top looked good. And then the one with the... Let me see. That one's the shrimp. The one with the apples I thought looked really good too. They show you like doing an omelet with tomatoes and, I don't know, green onions, um, an egg. They show the chocolate dessert, the shrimp, the chocolate thing, and then up here. Or wait, I saw it maybe on the back. Sorry, guys. Yeah, they show right here that um, onion bouillon soup or whatever it is. I think it looks gross, but... You know, some people like it. So I actually purchased two of these. I got one for me, and then I got one for my mother-in-law and my father-in-law because they cook a lot. They are, like I've told you guys, they're Italian, and, well, my mother-in-law is Italian, so they do a lot of cooking. So I thought that they would like to try this. I don't know whether or not this works. If you guys have ever used it, let me know how it works. And, yeah, so... It says it includes a bonus recipe book with all recipes in five minutes or less. So for a dollar, those are great. I was actually tempted to pick up a couple more and give them away as gifts. I don't know, like, what kind of gifts I would, you know, for what occasions. But 
I don't know. I just thought that was a good deal. If I end up liking them, then I will definitely pick up some more. Because, sorry, I was getting a drink of coffee. That as seen on TV stuff tends to go really, really quickly. The blow dryer thing, I couldn't decide whether or not I thought it looked like it would work or not. And the one of my friends that works at the Dollar Tree said she was on the fence about it and she hadn't purchased it either. Then I picked up, um, they had a little section with um, Lysol stuff. They had the yellow Lysol, which is like lemon scented. And then they had the lavender scent in the wipe. So they had the lemon and the lavender. I got one pack of the lavender because the Lysol wipes are perfect. Um, and I need some of these disinfecting wipes for the house right now. We all went through like a major, major, really bad flu. We each got it like one at a time. First, um, my son got it, then my boyfriend got it, then I got it. And I had it for legit like eight or nine days. I had fe like a fever, really high fever for a couple of days. One day I was getting sick. Another day I had the chills. <clears throat> and then the cough and like my head being plugged up, that lasted forever. So I've already sanitized around kind of, but I also wanted to pick these up because I thought that was perfect for keeping around with everyone of just being sick. So they also had, which I didn't get any of these because I didn't know if I would use them, but to match the lavender wipes and the Lysol and the lemon, they had the little bottles that were about this tall of the liquid. You could mix maybe, I don't know if it's concentrate, but you can mix it as spray cleaner or to mop or whatever. So I got that. Then I got this to throw in with my son's um, Valentine's goodies today. Um, I know that's kind of something weird to put in there, but he loves anything to do with football. So I thought that would be cute to put on the refrigerator with one of his football pictures. And it just says superhero, um, football hero. And you just, um, it's a magnet on the back so you can stick it on the fridge with a picture in it. And then I picked up another thing of the Sun Dishwashing Detergent. It's in the citrus scent. You guys know I've showed this to you guys before. Jeez, I can already smell it just from laying it down. And I don't think it it works um, badly or anything. I think it works okay. My dishes always come out clean. But then again, I'm very OCD and I basically kind of wash my dishes with a sponge and dish soap before they go in. I don't do like a really good job, but I do go over all of them. I don't leave any food on them. But then my grandma had given me um, the big orange bottle of the liquid sun, and I really, really liked that. So I think I'm going to repurchase, and that wasn't from the Dollar Tree. It was from Save Mart, and I believe it was like $3 and some odd cents. So I would like to repurchase the liquid and sun, and if they ever get it at the Dollar Tree, I definitely will get it because I thought the liquid worked a lot better than the detergent. And also, my dishwasher is basically brand new, so I don't know if that factors into how well a dishwashing detergent will work, you know, because some people have older ones, they might not work as well, so there's probably just a lot of different things that factor into whether or not you like a dishwashing detergent. Then I picked up some more of these. You guys know I purchased these along with the burgundy, like, cheesecake scent or something like that. It's in the Better Homes. That's a Walmart brand. I believe that's a Walmart brand, and this is in the Grapefruit Melon Sage, and my mother-in-law is obsessed with the tea lights because, and I use them now for that too, I showed you guys that on a really old video, um, normally I use the light bulb with the little wax cubes on top, but for a really more fragrant scent in your house, you can just put a tea light underneath the scent things, and then put the little oil drops in them, and her son's used all of hers, so she's um, been borrowing mine. So she ran out, and then I only had a couple left. So <clears throat> for her Valentine's Day goodies, I figured giving her a pack of these would make her happy. And then I bought three of them because there was three left in this brand on the shelf. So I don't know where. Yeah, the other. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Let me get a drink really quick. My throat's bothering me. Anyways, I don't know what bags the other two packs of these are in, but I will show you. So they come with 12 of them. <clears throat> and I find that this brand of tea lights, they seem to last a lot longer than just the white ones that you get from Dollar Tree. Then I got this cute little, they had a bunch of these in different types of things. They had ones with little ballerinas where you could put a picture in. But I thought this one was just adorable. I got this for Alexia. It's my mother-in-law's granddaughter. 
And she's in kindergarten, so I thought this would be cute to go in her room. I was going to give it to her with her little Valentine's goodies. So it's just got the little Bible with the cross and then the little girl praying. I thought it was adorable for a dollar. Then I got, let me see what else is in here. Okay, I picked up another one of these for my mother-in-law to give her with her Valentine's Day goodies. And um, so she can, she actually got some body oils, or not body oils, sorry, some oils, the ones that you drop in from the body shop on clearance after Christmas. She got vanilla and then like a fruit type one, but the vanilla one smells amazing. It scents up the whole house. So I got her another one of these so she could have it in another room because she only has one and she keeps it in the living room. And I thought that this one was actually really pretty. So that's to go um, <clears throat> with the tea lights. <clears throat> I know that's getting annoying, you guys, me clearing my throat, but... It's just bothering me. Here's the fourth um, physician's formula in the mosaic powder. And I'm going to give one of those to my mother-in-law as well. Let me see. Okay, this is from Dollar Tree as well. This is a... You guys know that I had been looking for this because I had seen everybody hauling it. <clears throat> it is a dupe to the Cetaphil, I believe it is. And I could never find it, and they finally, finally had them at my Dollar Tree. And I had put, like, four of them in my cart. And then I decided, you know what, I'm not going to get four. I'm going to get one, and I'm going to see how it works. Because then if it doesn't work good, I'm going to be stuck <clears throat> with tons of them like I normally do with every product. And then I'll just end up giving them away, which I don't mind. But still, <clears throat> this is 16 ounces, and my son and I both have... Um, eczema a little bit on our arms so we're gonna see if this works just like the Cetaphil does and that's a lot of product for a dollar 16 ounces and this was down I didn't buy it it just popped up um, when I was kind of getting the bags out or whatever then I don't know if I ever showed this to you guys I think I did but um, this was on like a little bit longer ago of a Dollar Tree um, trip. It's a little Hello Kitty um, keychain and it's got candies in it and I just thought it was really cute and I see these there still all the time so I just thought that was really cute. Great, this 99 cent only bag is knotted. Let me get another Dollar Tree bag so I can try to show you guys the stuff in order. <clears throat> this was already open because when I do my son's homework with him we always need pencil sharpeners and we never, I bought some and I couldn't find them. So I thought these heart ones were really adorable. Not for my son, but for me to sharpen the pencils. Um, we gave a red one in his teacher's Valentine's Day one. And then I've already used one of the pink ones. So these were from Dollar Tree, <clears throat> which I thought they were really cute. Then I got this red bag. Um, from Dollar Tree as well, and it is already used. My son took this to school on Valentine's Day with all the goodies that I bought for his class. I bought them brownie bites with little Valentine's Day sprinkles on them. I got them Valentine's Day sugar cookies, um, some juice. I got, he did his cards for the girls and boys. We did, what else did we do? We did a, oh, we did like napkins, cute little cups, which I will show you guys because he brought back some of the cups because they're reusable cups. So I just bought this bag so he could put all of his stuff in there and <clears throat> not have to carry it in like a plastic baggie, which there's nothing wrong with that. But still, I just thought that would be cuter for Valentine's Day. So here's another Dollar Tree bag. We're probably going to have to do these videos in like two or three videos. Because this video is already almost at 20 minutes long. So this is for my son for Valentine's Day. I'm going to give it to him today with his goodies. I thought this was so cute considering it was from Dollar Tree. They had lots of really cute ones this year. This is a little froggy and it's got the little kiss mark on his cheek. And then it's got the cute little bow tie with hearts on it. I thought it was really adorable. They had little teddy bears. Um, <clears throat> I think they might have had a panda bear. I can't be for sure, but I thought this one fit my son the most. That he liked that one the best. Then I got <clears throat> these, and I didn't even get to put these out. So anything that I didn't use, I will save for next year. I honestly didn't put out very much of my Valentine's Day decor like I normally do this year. And you guys, like I said, it's only because... Like, just as far as my health, like, I'm okay, but I just have not been feeling well at all lately. I just, like I said, I feel like I have no energy all the time. That's why I haven't been filming 
Um, I told you guys about me losing my hair or whatever, and my hair is so thin now. I've lost so much of my hair, and I don't want to keep talking about it. It's just going to upset me, but... So I just didn't decorate that much for Valentine's Day, and yeah, I just feel, like I said, just really draggy, like I have no energy. I want to invest in some expensive vitamins and see if maybe that would help at all, because I just feel really down. So also, any prayer would be greatly appreciated. So anyways, I got this. Um, actually, this wasn't from Dollar Tree. This was from, um, <clears throat> wait, was this from Dollar Tree? Yeah, this is in the Dollar Tree. This definitely was from Dollar Tree. I got, because I remember getting them. This was the zebra one, and I thought the glittery heart at the top was really cute. And then it's also got these cute handles. So you could use these to put little goodies in and then give them away as gifts. I was just going to set them out on the counters or my table with little candies in them. And then... Or I thought I could put some of my mother-in-law's stuff inside of one of them. And then I got this one that says love. I actually had purchased three of them, but I gave one of them to my mother-in-law to put on her counter. So the other one was different than these two. I don't remember exactly what it looked like, but it did. Instead of being a heart shaped at the top, it was a square with a heart in the square. So those were both from Dollar Tree. Then I found this Bonnie Bell, and I thought it looked really nice. It's actually a lip blush, and it's in the Serene Strawberry. Strawberry is not one of my favorite scents, but I thought the color was really pretty, um, especially for um, maybe around Valentine's Day or spring. I thought it was really pretty, and I don't think I've ever tried the lip blushes by Bonnie Bell. I might have purchased one of these before, but not in this color. So that was from Dollar Tree. Then I got this Lip Smackers. Um, lip gloss and you guys know anytime I find anything in lip smackers at Dollar Tree I purchase it because at Target it's more than a dollar so this one just says fun glossy shine and this one is in the lip rush whacked watermelon so and lip glosses are always nice you can put them over color or just by themselves usually I'll do like a chapstick and then I'll do the lip gloss then I got these at the Target dollar spot. I know this is kind of jumping around on where these are from, but so far everything I've showed you guys is all from Dollar Tree, ex with the exception of a couple things from the Target dollar spot. I haven't gotten into any of the 99 cent only stuff yet. So, mm, anyways, um, I got this at the Target dollar spot. It's just the cars i don't know if that's i think that's lightning mcqueen it says blazing speed it's just a bowl where the kids can drink the milk out of or whatever it is they need to drink out of there and this isn't for my son because it's a little bit too small for him i got this for my mother-in-law's grandson sometimes i watch their uh the grandkids for her and the little boy isaiah loves cars so i got him this along with one of the plates and one of the cups um they're not in this bag so i will show those to you guys when i get to that <clears throat> then in this bag, I got, I thought these were really cute, you guys. These were from Dollar Tree as well, and I got this to hang jewelry on. It says glam, and it looks like a little hanger, and it's got the three hooks. So I figured that would be nice for, like, necklaces, um, bracelets, just any type of jewelry. And when I got these, because I got two of them, these were the legit only two left. So people really um, swoop these up quick. So this one says glam. And then I got this one, and this one was kind of coming off the cardboard, but I didn't mind. This one also says glam, but instead of looking like a hanger, it's just got the letters, and then it's also got the three hooks. So there's both of them um, from a top view together. And then I also got something that is like in the same, it's got the same print, and it's this metal, but I think it's a holder, and it's in a different bag, and I think it might say Diva or something like that. And I will show that to you guys when I find it in another bag. So I thought those were really, really cute, you guys. So definitely keep an eye out for those. Then I got these um, cute heart stickers. And I know these are um, Valentine's Day stickers, but I will use these hearts for any type of cards or birthday cards, anything like that, or envelopes, because you guys know I love hearts. I like anything girly. And these are actually like little gems. So I thought these were really, really cute. It comes with 120 of them. It has the big ones, the medium ones, the small ones, and then the teeny tiny ones. So those were so, so cute. 
I'm actually going to put one on uh, my son's card to seal it. And this is the card I got for my son. It's just got a red envelope. I always mismatch the envelopes like I go through. And if I don't like the envelope that comes with the card, I'll find a different one. This one didn't come with a red one, so I switched it to a red one. Normally, I always get the handmade cards at Dollar Tree, the ones that have all the little rhinestones on them, where they come in the little stand-up cardboard thing, because I think those are way well worth a dollar. I think that they're actually worth more. I think if you were to buy those type of cards at, like, Target, they could run up to, like, seven bucks, but they didn't have any ones that said sun on them, and I wanted to get one that said sun, and my son loves, loves dogs and animals. So this one just says, For you, son, a Valentine's Day riddle. Who's fun and nice, smart, and loved a whole lot? And then you open it, and it says, You, happy Valentine's Day. I just thought it was really cute. So I'm going to fill that out today. And for those of you wondering, um, thinking it's kind of weird that I didn't have my son for Valentine's Day, it was only because my grandma invited him to go along with her to make cupcakes, go to Funworks, do stuff with her and my cousin, and then also so um, me and my boyfriend could be able to do something for Valentine's Day, um, like, you know, without kids or whatever. So then I got, because <clears throat> I did get some bags for the, the Valentine's Day stuff for my mother-in-law and my son, so I picked up some of this tissue paper, and it came with the little hearts on it, it just says gift tissue, and it's got 10 sheets. It's got the red sheets and the heart sheets. I thought it was really festive and just really cute. I'll show you guys the really cute bags that I got, too. Then I got <clears throat> these Valentine's Day rings, and I completely forgot about them. So a lot of this is just going to have to be for next year. I really wish I would have been able to film this video yesterday and got it up for yesterday. Um, but I know a lot of the Dollar Trees are wiped out of a lot of this stuff, but... Um, my Dollar Tree, when I went, um, they still had actually some of the stuff there. So I got these, and they're just the light-up rings. I thought they were really cute. And it doesn't really matter what size finger you have because I looked, and they're stretchy rubbery. So I thought those would be really, really cute to wear. And I know not all adults would wear these, but I thought that would be cute on my finger for Valentine's Day. I would even wear this, like, if we go out to dinner tonight, I wouldn't even mind wearing this tonight because it's just the day after Valentine's Day. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry guys, I need to get a drink of my coffee. I know some of you guys are probably so annoyed with me right now. Just bear with me. <clears throat> then I got these really cute hand sanitizers. <clears throat> and I had never seen these at the Dollar Tree before. I know I'm way behind on like Dollar Tree hauls and 99 cent only hauls. So a lot of this stuff that I'm showing to you guys, it may be new to me and may not be new to a lot of you avid Dollar Tree and 99 cent only store goers. <clears throat> but like I said, none of the stuff I've showed you is from 99 cent only, but the stuff that I will show you. So if this is like old news, I'm sorry guys, but... I still have been going to the Dollar Trees, just not as much. So, but like I said, I hadn't seen these there before. I thought they looked really nice. And a problem that I have with a lot of the Dollar Tree hand sanitizers is they'll have like a certain scent on them. And when I would use them for work, when I was working at the thrift store, they would smell so bad. Like a really just, all I can really put it is like a tequila smell. And I don't drink anymore, but I used to back in the day, and that's what it would always remind me of. And it would leave like a lingering smell on my hands. So I haven't opened these, but they looked kind of different, and I'd never seen them, so I decided to get them. And hopefully they smell like what the scent says. This one is Fresh Splash, and I think it, yeah, it just says Fresh Splash Antibacterial Hand Gel with Vitamin E Beads. So it's got the beads in it. This one's Snappy Apple. I know it's not the shape of the Bath & Body Works ones, but I thought these ones would be cuter like the Bath & Body Works ones to carry around. I keep one in the side of my door in my car, and I keep one in my purse too because when I'm out shopping, I use the little cart wipes if they have them, but I always feel like when I get done shopping at a store, when I get out into the car, my hands just feel really grimy and dirty. I don't know if you guys feel like that, so I will always put hand sanitizer on my hands, so that's what I will keep these for. I have another pack with um, different scents in them. I don't know if they're in this bag, but I will show them to you when I get to them. 
So I'm going to show you guys um, the rest of the stuff in this bag, and then I'm going to stop this video, and I will do a part two to it. So I found at the Dollar Tree um, the Revlon Famous Brand Nail Color, and I thought that these were a great deal for a dollar. Um, this one is the Expressionist, so I'm guessing it's supposed to be kind of like Argus and Express or expression in one. This one I thought was really pretty and I actually want to do like a French pedicure on my toes with it. It's like a really light pink color and then it's got this really pretty pearl white in it. So I thought that would be awesome for doing even if you wanted to do a French manicure on your fingers. But as you guys can see I have um, my nails done. I have the silver glitter and then the pink heart. Normally I'd get my nails done a little bit crazier but this time I um I know that's like an out there color, but I didn't do as many designs um, on each. Now I just got them a little bit more plain with just like all one color and then just the ring finger different. So for those of you that don't have acrylics, you can do um, do this on your regular nails on your hands or you can do like me and do a French pedicure. So I thought that was a great deal. I got another one with different colors as well. And they have this really pretty one that had... Um, like a purple with this gold, um, like gold accent in it. It was really pretty. And then on the bottom, I think it was just like a gold nail polish. And I wanted to get it, but I wasn't sure if I would use it because um, that's what I have to do when I purchase stuff. I have to say, will I use this? And if I don't think I will, I try not to purchase it because I end up with a lot of stuff that just gets given away or that I don't use. This one I thought was a really pretty pink. I'm trying to shake it up without shaking the camera too much this one's a really pretty pink like a mauve rose pink and then I love this gray color this gray color is really in right now um, I've seen a lot of people with it on their nails and the idea where I got for this color was on American Idol Jennifer Lopez had the kind of not pointed nails but they're pointed but kind of round and she had this just gray on all the nails no designs and I actually really liked it it sounds um, like it wouldn't look very good, but I really, really liked it. I just have to be brave enough to try it. And I've kind of wanted to try the pointed rounded nails, but like I said, I'm just haven't been brave enough to do it. So those were the two colors. Um, I don't know if I can see like a color on them. Yeah. Okay. The gray on the bottom of this one is 390, um, pastel punk. So that's the gray one. It's called Pastel Punk 390. The pink one is... Oh, the pink one doesn't say anything. doesn't have, like, a sticker on it. So, yeah, on each of these, there's only one sticker. So this whole set is 390 Pastel Punk. And then this one, the white and... The pearly white and the really light pink one is 380 Post Modern. So Post Modern and Pastel Punk. Let me see if there's anything else. Okay, there's like four more things in this bag. Then I got these really, really cute bracelets, you guys. I thought these were adorable, and I'm so happy that I found them at the Dollar Tree. Um, I tried them on my wrist, and they absolutely just looked really good. Um, this is a pink one, and I love the way they intertwine the bands. It's very blingy. This one right here is turned over because it did that the last time I looked at it. So you can turn it back over. So is that not so cute, you guys? I love the pink one, especially with my nails. I think um, if we go out to dinner tonight, I think that's going to look really good. And all they do is snap on. They've got two different um, snap settings, so you can make it um, larger or smaller depending on your wrist size. So there's the pink one. And they had other colors besides the three that I got. These were just the ones I could see myself wearing and matching to clothes. So this one's like a kind of brown color with the gold bling on it and the light kind of makes it look like more yellowy but it looks more gold it doesn't look so yellowy when I don't have the light on my camera so I got that one there's the two snaps and then the gray one it's not as thick if you compare um, the width of these um, together Sorry, I know this video is all over the place. If you compare the width, you can see the pink one is wider with more strands than the gray one. I looked for the gray one in the um, one that was bigger in width, but they only had this one, and I definitely couldn't pass the gray one up. I thought if I do decide to get the gray nails, 
um, even if they're not pointed, just gray nails, period. I would definitely wear this gray one with the gray nails because I think that would look really good. So let me just get all three. Aren't those, like, beautiful, you guys? I thought they were a really good deal for a dollar, and they would make really nice gifts. I haven't seen them when I went back because these were from... Um, these were actually from two days ago when I went, and when I went yesterday, I didn't see any more of them because I probably would have picked some up. So, there's those from Dollar Tree. I have, I believe, three more things. Then I got, um, these socks. I've been buying them for my son. They're called Above the Rim. I usually pick up, like, one or two every time I go to Dollar Tree, um, because he goes through clothes and socks quite a bit, going back and forth between, um, my house and his dad's house, stuff tends to get left at his dad's a lot, so I'm constantly having to buy new stuff, these are actually a really nice quality of sock, they're really thick, they're not chintzy, and like I said, they're just above the rim, and these say, men's socks, size 10 to 13, my son, um, his foot is about the same size as mine, and I wear a nine and a half in women's, so he's nine years old, he has a really big foot for his age, so that's why I can buy him the men's socks or whatever. So the bottom just has the black and gray, the dark gray, and then the light gray, and it says, I believe, above the rim, and I think it has a basketball on it. Then I got, um, another thing of the Crest 3D White, and this is in... Not the travel size, but the medium. It's the 2.5 ounces, which I think is a good deal for a dollar. Because if you add up the price for the big one, this is, you know, like in the middle. So, then I picked up some sippy cups. And there's only one sippy cup in this bag. Um, but I got these, like I said, for my mother-in-law's granddaughter and grandson. When they come over, I don't allow any drinks outside of my kitchen. Because my couch is... I've had it for almost two years in April, but it's still in brand new condition, and I don't like stuff getting stained, so I definitely have to have them using cups with lids and in the kitchen. And I've showed you guys these sippy cups before, just in different designs. I showed you guys the blue one with the pirate, and then a green one, where I think it had like um, a beach scene on it, or no, the pirate one, and then the green one had like giraffes and... Um, like safari animals and the thing that I like about these um, cups I don't know if I can get this open with holding one holding the camera with one hand but the reason I like these from the Dollar Tree is they have the rubber thing that comes in and out and you guys know for those of you that have small children those are great because the sippy cups that don't have those those aren't spill proof these are spill proof so if these get you know knocked on the ground they're not going to spill unless the child is actually sucking on the um cup or whatever so i got this one plus a boy one i'll show that to you guys in the next video um and when i find it in another bag so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know i blab a lot and like i said i've said it already twice i missed you guys so much and i'm so happy um, that I'm able to film a video for you guys or some videos and I will be going today and responding to comments So if you guys have anything to ask me or anything you guys want to say to me now is the time to do it. All right. Bye guys